How the f does my bin manager create content like that? Well, you're in luck. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna create some new families. And I always start with a generic model. I start with every family the same way. I create reference planes, boom, and make the sequel. Uh, we're gonna create some parameters associated with these dimensions now. Width, make it instance, length, and we're gonna do the same way as them. So doing that, change these parameters, and our reference planes will move. I'm gonna go into an elevation view. So here, I'm gonna add a reference plane in the dimension. I'm gonna call this height. So I'm gonna actually create an extrusion now. And I always do my lines on the inside line. And then you see this little lock come up? Lock. This is the most important step when you're constraining your geometry to reference planes. One up, one up, one up. Now go back to your elevation view, and then align, line lock, and just make sure that bottom one is as well. So now we got this rectangle. We're gonna click this thing, assign a material to it, and hit apply. I'm gonna go to my object styles over here. Uh, I'm gonna create a new object style. I'm gonna call this clearance. And when I grab this element here, there's a subcategory down here. We're gonna actually apply clearance to that. I'm gonna do file new, exact same file did last time, generic model. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This time when I set up these parameters, I'm gonna do them as type. The reason I did the other ones as instances is because I wanted to map them through and make sure that when I change the parameters in my white fixture family that my clearance would also change. Um, now I'm gonna create an extrusion, exact same way I did before, align lock, boom. Cool. All right, that's done. I'm actually going to go back to my clearance family. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load it into this project now, or into my family. I'm just going to drop it right there. Uh, I'm going to go to my floor plan, move it into place, and I'm not going to align lock it in this one because I want it to be driven by the mapped parameters. I go on a 3D. This is what I'm going to grab this clearance on. I'm going to map the height to the clearance height. I'm going to map the length to length. I'm going to map the width to width. We're going to set up fixture type 2 by 2, 2 by 4. I go back in here, my 2 by 2. Bam, you can see that clearance on just adjusted with it on the project. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the floor plane. I'm going to load this thing in. I'm going to drop this thing in a few different locations like this. Go like that. You can see this clearance zone's all over the place. In my project, now I'm just going to hit VV. Generic models, plus it out. My clearance zone. And my clearance, boom, gone. And that works on my floor plane as well. Generic models, clearance, gone. Now that's exactly how your bin manager creates some badass content.